Hey, what's going on, everyone? Oh, did it again. Let me get the earbuds in. Coach Hamley here once again with you for another episode of the Mental Side TMS. Episode 71, Tuesday Talk Edition, on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Beautiful blue sky, uh, just hanging out here. Got a few minutes until some morning hitting lessons, and thought I would just drop this edition of the Mental Side Tuesday Talk and thanks for being here with me. We are live, and I'll wait for uh, maybe a couple people to get on. If not, you know the drill, I'll, I'll post this on my page, tag sluggers in it, and morning Patrick. And uh, we'll just keep spreading the word. If you find meaning in this, if you found meaning in past episodes, I mean shoot. There's been a number of them, right? 71, episode 71 today. And just getting through the summer, summer season winding down, keeping going with the lessons. It's been exciting. You know, uh, we've been fortunate, we've been blessed to, to do some outdoor lessons. Of course, being in accordance with uh, the, the executive orders and, you know, following social distancing and all that. However, it's been inspiring. We've been we've been filled up with uh, young men who are looking to improve and get better, and that's energizing for me to see those uh, who are on their journey still, as we all are. We're still on that journey. However, those in their youth looking to still grow and get better at their craft. So I love it. And if you like, I've said all along, I'm not a guru, I'm not an expert on any of this. I just read listen, watch, observe, and of course, I practice. Um, and then I share it out to you. So thanks for being here. Share it out, share out the link. Like the videos. If you find it on YouTube, give the channel a like. And let's keep this circle of growth moving, helping those improve in leadership, positive thinking, and mindfulness. So with that, I was thinking about this today for today's talk. Um, and this is somewhere where I'm still working on growing as well. And that talk today is gonna to be on, it is okay to change your mind. And I think, especially as athletes, coaches, and just adults in general, parents, it is okay to change your mind. And I think that shows growth, I think that shows wisdom, it shows maturity. Now, obviously, there's a dichotomy. We don't wanna be seen as someone who says one thing and then in uh, the next breath is saying another, or you're saying one thing to someone and then another thing to another person, or you're, you're completely changing who you are based on who's in front of you. It's, uh, it's not saying uh, move away from your morals, your virtues. You gotta be true to you. However, it is completely fine you know, after learning more on something. Let's say, for example, as a coach, you know, maybe you've always run a certain bunt coverage and then all of a sudden you learn a better bunt coverage from a fellow coach or you read up on bunt coverages. It's okay to say, you know what, what we were doing was good. However, this is better. Let's, let's shift in this direction. That's changing your mind, right? However, I think as adults especially, I think as coaches we tend to be very stubborn people and uh, I say coach maybe you are if you're one of my my parents or uh, um, one of my peers listening to this maybe you're in a leadership position maybe you're uh, a manager or a director or something where you have subordinates you have people underneath you you're a coach you're showing others how to do something you're coaching them through it and I think it's powerful when those underneath you 
can see that you are humble enough to say, you know what? I have never thought about it that way or you know what I've been thinking about it for a little bit and I really like what you said there and I like what your thoughts are let's try your way you know it's also okay to think you have a great plan but then challenge those around you to poke holes in it you know and make it fun hey I think I have a great plan I think it's almost perfect however find find the faults in it poke holes in it one that shows humility and two, you're gonna learn and grow. And three, you're gonna challenge those around you to become better and to make their own decisions and to also understand that if you're not around, they can take ownership and leadership of them of themselves. I think about that a lot as a coach and as a teacher. If and when I'm not around, do my students or do my players still execute how we've trained and how we've practiced and how we've been taught? And if they don't, that's a reflection on me and my leadership. It's not a reflection on them. And I think it all stems back from, as, as leaders, we must have the courage to change our mind. And like I said, there's a real dichotomy there. There's a real balance of we don't want to be seen as this flip-flopper and again, I say as we don't want to be seen as we're not worried about what others think. However, there is something to be said about having social awareness and understanding how we conduct ourselves is how we're perceived. And that does impact your leadership. However, it's okay to think, you know what? What I've been doing is not as good as what I just learned right there. It's okay to change your mind. I mean, think about in today's world, uh, I don't want to go down a political rabbit hole or social rabbit hole, but just think about politically, socially, um, you know, even with your own morals and virtues, you might come across someone, something, some reading, some listening, and it might completely change your perspective and you might change the way that you conduct yourself or even think. I mean, think about how many uh, hardened criminals, you know, change their ways they change their mind and it's completely life-changing for them. You know, think about, and these are extremes obviously, uh, the drug abuser who, you know, you continuously do something and it's not making you any better until you make a decision. You change your mind and you know what? My previous way of thinking is not helping me. Yes, it's my thinking. Yes, it's been what I've been doing for so long. However, it's a detriment to me, okay? That's a vice and we wanna build great habits. We want to build great rituals in our lives. So then, you know, you think about some of the most dangerous phrases in the English language. I've always done it this way, or we've always done it this way. What will others think? And it, that in itself is preventing us from growing. What will others think? So what, what will others think? People are always going to think something. People are always going to have their opinions. The best thing we can do is be true to ourselves and understand that the wisest people are those who continuously learn throughout their lives. All right? We've talked about growth-mindedness in a past episode. So be growth-minded enough to understand, you know what? What I know is what I know right now. And if I'm willing to, to learn and pick up new things along the way, of course I'm going to change my mind. You know, my coaching style has changed tremendously from when I first started coaching fresh out of college, not knowing anything about coaching. Yes, of course, I, I, I was a player. However, there is a big difference from being on the field side of the chalk line and then the coaching side of the chalk line. And so having the courage to say, you know what? What I've been doing is not working or it's not the greatest, it's not the best. This way seems better. Let's try this. And that's the only way we can improve. Otherwise, we're just fixed-minded. We think, well, whatever's in my head now, whatever I know now is all I'm going to ever know. And I, I just think that's that's a, a road that isn't going to allow us to be the greatest that we can be and reach our fullest potential. So that's your Tuesday talk. I think I'll just hang it up right there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go on too long. I think that brings the point across of we just have to have the courage to change our mind and not misconstrue that as uh, flip-flopping or you know telling someone one thing and then another person another it's simply having the courage 
to hear, see, or read something, and if you find it meaningful, if you find it profound, if you find it um, life-changing, if you just find it that it's something that can help you grow, use it. You know, and I have found it's not like it's uh, all of a sudden we have this snap of the fingers, lightning changing moment. Those do happen. However, it's more layers upon layers upon layers. You know, you read, you listen, you watch, uh, you take it into your mind, you disseminate, and then you filter that into your own unique voice and perspective. And that shapes your reality. Maybe that's partially why you're here listening to this. Be curious to see if anyone's been here since episode one. However, you've seen a change. You've seen growth and even what I do with this podcast. And I'm going to continue to grow it. I'm going to continue to help um, move it in a direction where it finds more ears and more eyes. Um, and selfishly for the fact that it can help more people. Maybe it can even just help others see like, hey, if Coach Hanley can do it, if Rob can do it, surely I can do it. So... Uh, I'm going to keep it coming. There will be interviews at some point. Still working on that. You know, during the summer months, it's hard to track people down. So um, as we start to get more into fall mode here, I know there's going to be um, more availability for interviews and more consistency with that. So stay with me on that. And give me some comments. Give me your feedback, what your thoughts are. And share out the videos. Give us a like, find Sluggers on all social media platforms. You can find me on all the social media platforms. I'm pretty good about getting back uh, to comments and responses. And thanks for being here. Um, on behalf of Slugger Sports Academy here in Grand Rapids, and myself, Coach Hamley, thanks for being here with me. And until we talk again, keep slugging. <laughs>